Education officials are getting attention today for tossing aside dozens of math textbooks. At the heart of this controversy is whether the books contain references to things like critical race theory. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney looked at both sides of the issue. Now, the new Florida battleground is over school books. We want to make sure that our kids aren't being indoctrinated. It's another attempt to create hysteria and political controversy. Depending upon who you ask, those are the two main answers over math textbooks in Florida. The Department of Education setting a record, rejecting 41% of the submitted math textbooks for kindergartners to high school seniors, citing prohibited topics like critical race theory or containing common core standards now cast aside in Florida. We don't want things like math to have, you know, some of these other concepts introduced. Governor Ron DeSantis defended the textbook policy, which is getting the backing of parents' rights groups like Moms for Liberty. Tiffany Justice of Vero Beach calls it woke math. There are different scenarios and different uh, word problems that I've seen where there are some issues with some of the math, but it's also this idea about feelings. How do you feel about this math problem? State House member Democrat Anna Escamani called calls it disinformation and distraction politics and says she can't even get the state officials to say what exactly is in the rejected textbooks. What are the citations? You know, if you saw there was something called CRT in a textbook, give me the example, because the only example that's been provided through the governor's uh, press secretary online have been screenshots of quizzes in Missouri. The governor did say those textbook publishers could try to appeal the rejection decisions or, he says, make necessary changes in order to win approval for Florida classrooms. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.